Michael, what was your perspective on, on the play Austin made to set up your goal in, in St. Louis and your general thoughts on the way he thinks the game? Yeah, yeah he, he definitely thinks the game uh, like no other out there. He, he's always looking for the next play before he even gets the puck. So, uh, yeah, I know we just went after the faceoff and we always try to drop something quick uh, right before we uh, the puck drops. But uh, this time he just said to me, hey, go to the net. I'm going to go forward with it. And that's exactly what I did. And, um, you know, he, he ripped it right off of uh, the goalie and it came right out to me and I, I just slid it in. So um, big kudos to him for that goal. It wasn't necessarily clear on the broadcast, but why do you, what, what got you that unsportsmanlike penalty in the first? Ah, uh, uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think it was more what happened before um, Krug uh, hit me. So I think I was, I was getting one maybe before that. So I don't think it had anything to do with the scrum Krug. Next up, we'll go to Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Michael. Uh, it sounds like players uh, who are asymptomatic will no longer have to be tested after the All-Star break. Uh, how do you feel about that? And what's sort of been the conversation amongst the players about um, all the testing, even if you don't have symptoms? Yeah, I think we are just so used to it, testing every single day. Uh, since COVID started, we, we've been doing that. So it was just another thing for us in our, our morning routine. But yeah, you know, if they take testing away, I'm, I mean, it's only a few of us that haven't gotten it yet, so uh, myself included. So that just takes away one thing I have to do in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine with them going that route. So, um, yeah. How does it feel being one of the only Leafs that hasn't got it yet? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm just kind of dodging it. Uh, a few of us have made jokes that we're just we're just dodging it, dodging it every uh, single day. So. Uh, yeah, exactly. I just kind of take it day by day and hope I, I stay clear of it. Thanks. Next up, we'll go to Terry Koshan, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, Michael. With uh, Mitch back now uh, after serving his uh, COVID protocol, what's the key to, to getting that chemistry going on the line? I think we saw some good indications against St. Louis, but how do you now uh, keep this uh, rolling, if you will? Yeah, obviously having Mitch back um, is huge for our, our whole team. He, he brings so much to the table every single night for us. So um, him being on our, on our line again is great. And um, I've said this before, we have, we have a lot of chemistry um, off the ice. So uh, we just got to keep bringing that on the ice and, and then get familiar with one another once again. And it, it's pretty easy to get familiar with a, a player like that that's always looking for the next play and, and looking to see if you're open to make a play. So um, having him back in St. Louis was uh, pretty fun to play with. I don't know how much you, you played against Adam Fox in your career. Tomorrow might be the first one, but what do you think of the season he's having, the season he had last year, and what challenges a, a, a player like that can, uh, can serve for you guys tomorrow night, assuming you'll see a bit of him? Yeah, obviously he's an exceptional player. He's an exceptional D-man. Um, he, um, he he makes makes plays on the rush. He's always jumping up, and uh, he's like kind of like a, a fourth forward out there. Um, so you always got to you gotta be ready for him and – um, always keep your eye on him while he's out there because you know he's gonna want, he's gonna demand the puck and demand to make plays. So um, you know we just go into any game like um, tomorrow's game like it's any game. So uh, yeah, we're, we'll definitely keep our eye on him. Next up, we'll go to Jonas Siegel with the Athletic. Go ahead, Jonas. Hey, Michael. I'm wondering what you know about succeeding with Austin that you wouldn't have known before you got the chance to play with him. Uh, yeah, you know what, Austin obviously is is an exceptional player. I've said this before, and um, yeah, it's uh, playing with him makes me want to be better. Makes me want to be a better player. Just watching him out there uh, in practice, he gets better every single day. So that that motiv motivates me to to keep up to his standard and every single night. So uh, I think yeah, just just playing with him makes me a better player and and brings success to me as well. So. Um, you know, since I've been on his line, it's been a lot of fun and we've had a lot of fun together. So hopefully we can keep that going um, for as long as we're playing with one another. And last one here, we'll go back to Mark Masters. Go ahead, Mark. Michael, with that in mind, what stands out about the work you guys do? Like we saw you working together before practice today. Like what stands out about those sessions? Yeah, even uh, when we have our little skill sessions before practice, um, it was just, yeah, the three of us out there and uh, we were just trying to mimic um, little plays that we we have in in game game like situations and yeah we're just trying to get better try to get uh, more familiar with one another um, every single day so um, you know they've obviously been in this league for quite some time and they're both exceptional players in this league so 
Um, I just try to learn as much as I can off of them and, and try to get better every single day.